a unique exhibition here in Istanbul is combining satire and history. It's based on an album made by an Ottoman diplomat and it's filled with his caricatures of the high and mighty of his time. Take a look. Yusuf Franco went into the family business. His father and brothers held high positions in foreign affairs. And Franco also became a diplomat. But this 19th century Ottoman statesman had a sideline. He made satirical drawings of his friends, fellow bureaucrats, and high society. His work was unknown for a century, and only by a lucky chain of events has it been discovered. The public can now see it for the first time at an exhibition in Istanbul. Yusuf's, of course, uh, most extraordinary uh, feature was his caricatures. Although he didn't pursue any career in uh, that art, uh, he never published any caricatures. He was not known as a caricaturist, he was known as a uh, man of society and man of diplomacy, man of bureaucracy. But he did, at least from 1884 to 1896, drew many artistic, very illustrious paintings, drawings in the form of caricatures. And he painted uh, mostly his entourage, his social entourage, that were the elite members of Pera, Beyoğlu, uh, in the late 19th century. Uh, this included businessmen, other diplomats, uh, representatives of foreign missions that are located in Istanbul, in Pera. Franco was a social person. He attended society events that drew people from the cultural and bureaucratic elite. They became his subjects. His caricatures went into an album that only a handful of people knew about. After Franco's death, the album was given to a dealer so it could be sold. An American diplomat eventually bought the album in 1957 in the Grand Bazaar, and it was taken out of Turkey. This exhibition that we are organizing right now in Anamed, Yusuf Frank, the characters of Yusuf Franco, is based on this one particular um, album that compiles Yusuf's drawings. Uh, it's compiled by himself, it's not a published book, it's like a photo album, although not composed of photos, but rather of drawings, original drawings. So Yusuf made these uh, drawings uh, around 130, uh, and he posted them in their original form, he posted them on the pages of this album. The album remained with the diplomat and his family for almost 60 years. Then, in 1996, it was rediscovered. It's now in the art collection of Umer Koç, chairman of Koç Holding, Turkey's biggest conglomerate, and it's returned to Istanbul. Bahattin Öztuncay, the curator of this exhibition, found the album uh, in Toronto, and the album was then added to Umer Koç's special collection, and of course, at that very moment, we knew that uh, we have to do something about this, that these extraordinary caricatures and the extraordinary characters that are in the caricatures, and of course the extraordinary story of Yusuf Franco. The exhibition is a lot like Franco's album. It's no ordinary one. What we wanted to do from the very start was not um, kind of an art gallery, kind of an exhibition where all Yusuf's drawings would be displayed one by uh, another. We wanted to contextualize Yusuf Franco's life, these caricatures, how in the world all these characters came together in the pages of this album. How you, did Yusuf uh, come to know about these people? How did, did he have a chance to draw these people? And the answer was Beyoğlu, the late 19th century Pera. It was a place and time that made it possible for all these characters, Italian painters and French artists and Ottoman Pashas, Ottoman Pashas of different nationalities, different uh, religions, Italian dancers, all of these people could have come to Pera for different reasons. 
The district in Istanbul called Pera, which is now known as Beyolu, is one of the most important characters in Franco's album. It's why this map is part of the exhibition. It shows us how Franco's characters and the neighborhood were interconnected. The exhibit also includes puppets and animation based on Franco's drawings. And one of its most interesting cartoons is the death of a caricaturist. It's an image that's hard to forget. The last caricature in the album is a very interesting one. It depicts Yusuf's own death as a caricaturist, his own hanging. Uh, it's a drawing made by Yusuf, and in the drawing, Yusuf represents himself being hanged by the very char characters that he drew in the album. And his family is sad, they're crying. Uh, the diplomats uh, that appear in the album, they're uh, objectively overseeing the situation, and they're the people who pull the ropes of Yusuf. So that's a very amazing uh, way to end his album. And what is more, it not only ends this album, but it looks like it also ends his life as a caricaturist. We don't have any other indication, any other drawings uh, that, that were made by Yusuf. The characters of Yusuf Franco will run until the 1st of June. They can be seen at the Koch University Research Center for Anatolian Civilizations, in the very same neighborhood where they once dined and gossiped more than a hundred years ago.